Welcome back to Mystical Kannada friends. In our last video, we learnt about the Adil Shahis of Bijapur and today we shall know more about the Barid Shahis of Bidar. The Bari Shahis ruled in Bidar from 1489 to 1619. The most prominent among them were Amir Qasim Barid, Amir Ali Barid and Ali Barid Shah. Their business language was Kannada and Urdu. Kannada and Persian was the language of scripts and inscriptions. The Barid Shahis was a Sunni Muslim dynasty that ruled from Bidar after the disintegration of the Bahmani Sultanate in the 15th century. The Barid Shahis are one among the five kingdoms that came into existence after the fall of the Bahmani kingdom. The sultanate was founded in 1492 by Amir Qasim Barid, who was a Georgian enslaved by Turks. He joined the service of the Bahmani Sultan Muhammad Shah III and started his career as a sarnobat but later became the Mir Jumla that is the prime minister of the Bahmani Sultanate. During the reign of Muhammad Shah Bahmani he became the de facto ruler. Bidar was the capital of Barid Shahis. Amir Qasim's son Amir Ali Barid was a second ruler of this kingdom. He ruled from 1504 to 1542. He formally declared his independence in 1527 AD. His son Ali Barid Shah ruled from 1542 to 1579. He participated in the battles of Ahmednagar and Bijapur. He joined the confederation against Vijayanagar. Ali Barid was followed by five kings and during this period the state had lost its strength and importance. Both Ahmednagar and Bijapur aimed for its capture and finally it was annexed in 1619 bidar was annexed by bijapur they followed islam and worshiped allah the rulers patronized persian culture persian poetry is inscribed on their tombs the kannada language and people of this region of karnataka did not get bigger position in this rule than the bahmani rule the bidar sultanate made considerable additions to the bidar fort Their tombs are also located at Bidar. The rulers employed Hindu architects and engineers for the construction of these buildings which resulted in amalgamation of some Hindu features within the architecture of this period. The Russian tourist Nikitin describes Bidar as a populous country with safe roads and wonderful capital city. They ruled over an area of Bidar, Basavakalyana and Bhalki. Their administration continued for about 120 years. That's about the Barid Shahis of Bidar. We shall meet in our next video related to the Nada Prabhus of Yalahanka. Until then, like Kannada, love Kannada and subscribe Mystical Kannada for lot more interesting videos about Kannada and Karnataka. Siri Ganadam Gelge, Siri Ganadam Balge.